Hi everyone, today this is a different topic of a video. Today I will open my new 3D printer. I will do an unboxing and I will show you how it comes. It's a uh, Ender 3 uh, version 2 Neo and I will show you how to build it as well. So let's start with unboxing our package. So inside you can see that we have a guide to build our uh, 3D printer. Then we have some tools and some filaments. And a tool to remove our 3D printed parts from the surface. A EU plug power cable. our uh, main control units and with an uh, LCD, I don't know, like a panel with it. And uh, that's a tool to hold our filament on top of our 3D printer. And this here is our main board. Uh, be careful when you are removing your main stage because as you can see the cables are already plugged to the other surface so be gentle. So inside our 3D printer guides we have a quick start guide. A thank you note which is always nice and also an after sales service card which is also a warranty so I place the top sides and with four screws uh, two on each side we stabilize our top side as I told you before some cables are already connected so be careful and not hurt these cables so the other thing that I do I connected my panel here and I am tightening the screws. It's important that I didn't show you that here, but all of the uh, screws other side need to look this way. So after you put it in, then you screw it and the other side also turns. Make sure that your panel is stable so nothing happens bad. So the next thing I need to do is to put my filament holder. As you see, I made both of the screws in the same direction then I easily place it in then screw it in the place so after I connected my display and my filament holder I connected the wiring according to the uh, quick guides then I also I zip tied my cables so they are always stable now I connect my power cable be careful there is a 230 volts and 115 volt uh, sections it's already in 230 volts so it's okay for me but if you are using 115 volts you need to change it before you use and don't forget to also open this switch as well so first we come to control and we do a reset config configuration then we come back Come to prepare and click auto home. Then we came to move our Z axis and we make our Z zero.
Then we came to the offset. This one is important. We click and use a normal A4 paper. We increase it until that our paper has some friction. So now we came to the offsets and this is important, we have a A4 paper, we increase or decrease the Z offsets until we have some sort of a friction in our paper. Okay, now I have too much friction. Now it's okay. As you see, my paper is moving, but I have some sort of a friction as well. So we confirm it and come to disable stepper. Now we can use our nuts and also uh, go to other sides and we look whether we have the same friction as before. As you see, I have less friction now then there is some, uh, I don't know, some sort of wheels here and I use that so that I have the same friction level. As you see right now, I have a nice friction. Then I move to other sides and come here and look that as well. As you see, I can't go under it, so I am using my wheel again. Now as you see, my paper can go. I adjust this as well. As you see, I have friction again. So after you did all of the four sides, you come back and click auto leveling. So the printer will measure 16 points to be sure that every level is in the same height and direction.
So after leveling is done, you need to make sure that your paper is still goes inside. So you go to uh, prepare and the offset and you change the offset a little bit so that you still have your friction. So now I have my friction. So before we start to make a uh, pr print, we, hit, we make preheat PLA. And we cut our filament tip in a 45 degree way. Like this. So from here, you fit this hole with your filaments until as you see, there is some sort of a filament here. So now we can finally print. After I insert my uh, SD card, you came to print. And you have two options. I will select both. Then I do confirm. And as you see, my printer is finally working. Let's skip to the final results.